morning everybody and welcome welcome to crafty clegg's creations mid may vlogs i am currently in my kitchen i've just pegged out some washing um i've been to see my son this morning and i am now currently going to wash some dishes um tim's out for a walk and zach is chilling in his bed so i'm going to get a couple of chores done and they are, then i'm going to have a day of crafting I'm going to do some paper crafting and I might this afternoon sit in the garden um, and do a little bit of knitting or crocheting. I've made some cute little strawberries. Do you want to see them? Bear with me and I'll show them to you. Look at those tiny little strawberries. You, well, you can see they're in my hand there. You can see how tiny they are. Let me put them down. Um, so I'm going to use these as um, either bookmarks or danglies or whatever you want to call them on my journal. And then I made a bigger one. So this is Sheepy's Stonewash. Let me put them side by side so you can see them. So that one's Sheepy's Stonewash and that one's Sheepy's Sweet Treats. So the Sweet Treat is a very, very, can you see how thin that is? A very thin yarn. And then you all know what Stonewash is like. I just fancied having to go and see what that would look like. So yeah, made a few strawberries last night. Don't know what I'm going to make today. If I sit in the garden and crochet, I'm not sure, I've not decided. Um, but look at all these. So these are all, I'm not gonna cover it up. So these are all my son's and daughter's old school reports. And I'm going to have a read through them. Um, Tom gave them and my son said, look what I've got for you to read through. He's kept them all. So I'm going to have a read through them this afternoon as well in the garden. That'll be interesting reading. Hello there, everybody. I just wanted to come on and show you my um, journal. So for a couple of hours this afternoon, I have been up in my craft room and I've constructed my journal cover. And here it is. So I found this fabric with strawberries and bees lurking in my shelves here I didn't know I had it anyway I didn't know whether to cover it in this and then do like a feature on the front which I might still do I don't know I haven't decided yet but I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to pad it so I've put some wadding underneath and then covered it with the um fabric and then I've put some corner protectors on all four corners um, I've done, I've got a little, I don't, I don't know what you call them. Can you see, is it focusing? And this is what I'm going to clip my dingly dangly on, you know, with my strawberries and such like. So that's that. And then inside I have just used um, a polka dot um, card. Now, I know that you can see these little bits down the spine here, but I'm going to do an, I'm going to do an hit, can't get my words out i'm going to do a hidden spine bear with me one second and um, what was i saying yes yeah, so i'm going to do a, a hidden spine so it will have a piece of fabric on it so you will not see this that'll be covered up um and i haven't done a closure yet i don't know whether to do a um whether to do a really nice gingham closure like a ribbon that you can take off or whether to put some um oh what they called eyelets here and then thread ribbon through there i'm not sure what to do yet but yeah so this is what i've constructed this afternoon my journal cover um i found a few more bits and pieces to go in my journal i found some red and white gingham which i thought would be quite nice then i found some um these are going to be journaling cards and then i found some recipe cards which i thought would all be nice and then i found these strawberry these are strawberry pockets that you have to construct that i found um yes yeah, so I've, I've found quite a few things um to do with my journal today um i've had a bit of a busy afternoon really i have done another load of washing i've had to um wash all zach's blankets again he's had a bit of an accident um I've mowed the lawn and done a little bit of weeding. Um, what else have I done? That's it really, but the it's, the afternoons are whizzing, is whizz by. It's four o'clock already. 
So, um, I'm going to sit now, go and sit downstairs and have a cup of coffee before I get ready for doing the dinner tonight. Um, and then I think what I'm going to try and do tonight, whether it'll be on tonight's podcast or tomorrow's, I don't know. Not podcast, sorry, vlog. I'm not sure. I am going to try and do my afterthought eel on my Ukraine socks because they just need to get finished. And I doubt very much I'm going to see Karen before the 1st of June. Well, I know I'm not. I haven't got the time at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and do my afterthought heel. I am at the point now on my Christmas socks where I'm ready to do my heel. In fact, I'll show you them when I go downstairs. Um, and, yeah, that's that's it, really. I don't know what to do tonight, crochet-wise. Something tiny. Um, if I can just pick up my stitches on my socks for my afterthought heel and um, start my heel for my Christmas sock, then I feel that I can sit down and do a little bit of crocheting tonight. There's a couple of tiny little things that I wouldn't mind making. I've got, um, I think it's a... I think it's a mouse. I've got a mini mouse I can make. Not mini mouse. It's a miniature mouse. Um, I have a little tiny bear with an outfit on that I could make. I just want to make small things at the moment. I don't want anything big. What I do need to do is get cracking with my um, coronation blanket. I need to get that. In fact, tomorrow... We are going out for the day tomorrow to our sons, well, my stepson and Timothy's son. Um, Tim's going over to help him do some work in the garden on a pump um, for the hot tub or something. And we've made, Tim has this afternoon, has made a lovely lasagna and we're going to go and have um, dinner with them. So I'm going to take that over tomorrow and sit in their garden and just crochet, crochet in their garden. So tomorrow's video might be tomorrow and Sunday tagged together on Sunday. It might not be, but I'm just pre-warning you, if there's no video tomorrow, it will just be because I've been out all day. Um, but there might be some good footage, so I'll show you, because they live in quite a nice part of the town, and they've got some nice views and things like that, and they've got, they've got ducks, so I might, I'll be able to show you the ducks. So yeah, I mean, I might be able to get enough footage to show you and if I do then I'll upload it for you anyway I'm babbling I am going to go downstairs put the kettle on and I'll show you my socks my Christmas socks that I'm ready to turn for the heel come with me and I'll show you so here are my socks I am now at the point where I'm turning for the heel so I have to change back to this green I think it's this green so I'm going to try and just turn the heel tonight on that or this afternoon and then oh, I've got this ready. So I'm going to try and pick up my stitches on this one and this one. And I'm going to follow a tutorial on the YouTube. What's the worst that can happen? I can unravel them and I'll have to start again. But yeah, I'm not gonna get them done unless I try, am I? So I want to try and just pick the stitches up for that and unravel them. I'll be happy with that and then just turn the heel for this one and I'll be happy with that. So there's my two pair of socks. Would you like to see Zaka? Zack! Oh. Say hello fella. Hello. <laughs> Are you camera shy? I don't think so. Say good night. Bye everybody. So this is how far I've got on my heel flap. Look at these. I don't like this, how this happens, but I don't really know how to stop it. But luckily, this is the back. So when the, when the sock's finished, that will be the front and nobody will see the back, so it doesn't matter, does it? These are still here. Look, I haven't done them yet. Anyway, I'm going to have my dinner now. So I'm going to sign off. And say good night, and I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.